Hi, this is M. This is my Myasthenia Gravis Victory vlog. This is my story of believing for deliverance. Episode 15 of Emmeline's Deliverance Vlog. Today we're going to talk about pressure, specifically physical pressure, thus the hospital. Hi, I'm in the hospital. I thought it might be a good idea to do a series on pressure, specifically because everybody deals with pressure in their everyday lives. All kinds of different <clears throat> pressures. Physical, mental, and spiritual are the main three categories that people deal with their own pressures. We're going to deal with physical pressure today. In the next two episodes, we'll deal with the others. So, <laughs> this is actually unexpected that I wound up in the hospital uh, due to the myasthenia. Oh, so unexpected. <laughs> and so we decided to start with pressure, not knowing I would be here, but hey, here we are. <laughs> so it's not easy to, when you know you got to go to the hospital. I knew this morning, I was like, yep, I got to go. And I was so overwhelmed. I didn't want to wake him up. I knew he had to go to work and I was so overwhelmed. But at the same time, I knew it was that thing that I talked about in another episode where you know you gotta go <laughs> yep it's time to go however at the same time I kept claiming God's promises for me and knowing that I'm capable of overcoming anything and I'm still capable I may be here but I've got the best care right now so when physical things go really really wrong you've got it you know that you can overcome any challenge with God and his word I taught at Fellowship a few weeks ago on stewardship, body, soul, and spirit, stewarding our minds. It's from the Way Magazine, right here. <laughs> and there's an excerpt here I want to share. To have control over one's own mind is powerful. It means I get to decide. I can decide how much of my time and focus is devoted to what is productive and positive I can decide how long I want to stay angry or bitter. I can decide how much influence outside sources have over my thought patterns. And I can decide to redirect my attention to that which enriches my life and others. This is incredibly freeing and it is one of the benefits of mental stewardship. And to clarify, if you're gonna, tr if you're gonna deal with physical pressure, you're gonna need to get your mind in tow to do it. If your mind is in tow, the f body will follow. Exactly. I didn't know how to handle today when I first woke up. I was up all night dealing with a lot of issues and I was scared to even wake up David um, because I didn't know. I'm like, well, what do I do? What do I say? How do I go about this? But then I put my faith in God and I know, like the article says, you, I have control over my, over my mind and I know how to handle my thoughts as long as I keep them in tow with the word. And David has something in the word to share. There's a great example from the word of somebody who used their mind to control their believing so that way they could get the physical deliverance necessary for someone else. Matthew chapter 8 verses 5 through 8 10 and 13 and when jesus was entered into capernaum there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying lord my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and jesus saith unto him i will come and heal him the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest Come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, 
and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith believing. No, not in Israel. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. So the point, <laughs> so the point here is that we may have a lot of challenges, and there may be a lot of physical challenges, but if we continue to keep our believing high, we can overcome them. And getting into the word daily definitely helps. Yes. So next week, we'll continue our series on pressure, and I won't be in the hospital anymore. God bless you. What article is that from, David? I'm six minutes early. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs>